Hi guys, welcome back to my video. Today is an unexpected video that I am doing regarding my water lotus plants. Here I have. <laughs> so, um, for those that follow my water lotus, last week, um, my husband and I brought this plant into the laundry room, which I thought was a good idea, but um, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> uh, that didn't work. The reason why it didn't work is because the smell after the next five days was horrible. It reeks, it reeks like swamp. <laughs> it's so stinky. It's like, um, all downstairs stinks. Yeah, the whole entire, I mean, it was, we, I put it next to the door in the laundry room, but it was so bad. Even though I open up the door, it just smells like a hole downstairs, just reeks bad, like stinky, swampy death of a like, what dies in this room <laughs> kind of smell. It was bad. I can't take it anymore. So um, my plan is, so I moved it out. I dump all the water. I removed my goldfish. I, I mean, the water actually got clear. I even tried to put at in um, the, uh, Come, come here, babe. I haven't tried to put in the stem of my cuttings from uh, sweet potatoes I harvest with my family last week. And to be honestly, frankly, like it, it rooted. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this back in just because I was trying to say, maybe if I add some more plant in there, maybe it won't smell that bad, but it smells. It smells bad to the point where I cannot take it anymore. So. I dump it out and I brought it in here and what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna have this bag I'm gonna go ahead and put this bag out and then I'm gonna remove it from here transfer it into this thing I mean when I remove when I moved this out from the laundry room it was so heavy that I mean it was so bad I spilled water on myself it's to the point where I have to sanitize the whole entire floor of the, the mess I made and also um, take a quick shower because it was just it's just nasty I mean just sitting here sitting here like this next to this bucket reeks it reeks like <laughs> you don't want to smell it you do not want to know I mean you got to get get it out um, so my goal is to wrap it up like this and then um, I want to make sure hold on come here babe Whew, it smells guys it's it's horrible um, so I'm gonna keep it wet and make sure that this bucket's not gonna dry on me because when it's dry it's that means it's not gonna be good I'm gonna but I'm not gonna seal I'm gonna I'm not gonna tie it all the way so because so Let's see. Let's go like this. Like it's bad. It smells like nasty sewage water. I'm just gonna go like that. And then I'm gonna leave this open. And then I'm gonna pour water in there just to make sure. So, you know, I'm not gonna pour it all the time. Like every, maybe every two or three weeks, I'll check on it to make sure that it's not completely dry on me. And then I'll keep, I'll keep it damp because the tubers in there are still growing they're they're not dead they're not dead they're still growing so they're going into hibernation right now so I'm gonna have to um, make sure that the dirt is not dried out okay. so I'm just gonna grab the candle. I'm gonna keep it right there for the rest of the winter because it's away from the door it's away from us <laughs> the living space it's in a garage I mean I have no choice um, so that's gonna be there and that is the way I'm gonna overwinter this water lotus from now on <laughs> it's so bad it's so bad I can't take it I mean it's you can't you can't put this thing in 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 any of the uh, living space at all I mean, it's just it reeks it reeks bad so for those that follow me learn it from me i did not do a uh, a good job on picking a place to all over winter my water lotus i thought it was a good idea for me to put it in the uh, laundry room because you know i'm the only one who's going in and out but i guess 
the smell was so bad that it pushes out into the the other room which is not good anyhow um that is it so please like share and subscribe and also i want to maybe since i'm here already this is uh 80% of my plants are right here basically along this this garage door and uh, the window and then um, I want to show you what's going on the update of my my plants these are I don't know if you remember I have videos that I did on these ones I overwinter them and pepper plants are doing so well we have new growth and new leaves coming in same thing look at new growth coming here like that all the way over there and um, here's my sweet potatoes I'm gonna try to start it again for next year and this is the cuttings of our sweet potato that we harvest last week I rooted I cut it the the stem off when I when we were digging out the uh, sweet potato so I cut the stem off and then I just plug it into these this uh, jar filled with water and now as you could tell I mean it's starting to root and the way it's going it's gonna be awesome um, so it's a, a jump start for me for next spring when I'm ready to plant my my uh, my leaves my sweet potatoes but um, then there's sorry there's that I also the same thing I uh, I overwinter my eggplants and uh, the eggplants surprisingly they are they are doing great great they're not dying at all I mean I am so impressed it it's amazing I mean it's gonna be a jump start for me for for next year so I mean I don't have to start with seedlings on most of my my plants I mean at least the ones that I that I like to eat but anyhow so that's it that's the video for today how to over water I mean overwinter my water lotus and learn it from me do not keep it in do not bring <laughs> the pots into the uh, the living space at all including the laundry room not smart it stinks okay so now it is in the uh, garage and I will follow up on the status of it when I am ready to bring it out next spring okay all right shout out okay daddy um, I love you I miss you I hope you are doing well um, you all, you are always in my heart. Kim Nuk Daddy, I'm in Okay, Chuck Manana, Tasa Okay, bye.